Hi, this is Bruce at Longevity's Learning Lab. Today we're going to talk about tungsten diameters, tungsten sizes for the application that you're using. Really, the concern about using tungsten, buying it, is what are your upper amperage limits? Uh, so that's what we want to talk about, is upper limits for each of the size diameters. That's really our primary concern in how we select tungsten. I mean, there's the material that you're going to weld, and that's uh, uh, another um, issue of, of the, at the learning lab. But we want to talk about amperage and what the uh, electrodes can handle. This is typical packaging for tungsten electrodes. It'll give the millimeter size 1.6 by 175 and the inch equivalent uh, 116 by 7. And these are blue, blue tipped, so they're lanthanated, 2% lanthanum, and there's 10 pieces per package. So when you, this, this packaging is good because uh, here's a red thoriated electrode. When I grind this red off, when the red is gone, then it looks like this. And so I got a bunch of these electrodes and I have no idea what they are and they're all over the shop. Um, I don't know what alloy it is. So use the packaging, keep your, uh, keep like tungstens together, uh, lanthanum with lanthanum, seriated with seriated. So use the packaging so you know what you got. Uh, limits going the other direction. Obviously, there's no limits in how you can go down in current with, with these electrodes. You can go down to, to 20 amps, but you're going to have a wider uh, arc distribution or uh, uh, your arc is going to be larger with the larger electrodes. So you want to use the electrode that's appropriate for your welding. You want to keep your arc tight and small, so you're not going to be running at 35, 40 amps with a 1 8 electrode, you'll have a, a wide dispersion of, of your arc. So um, just as a general rule, uh, keep your electrode in line with your amperage and use the smallest electrode you can for the application. So we'll talk about limits for the different electrodes. Um, one sixteenth electrode here, uh, limits are around 100 amps, and these are just ballpark numbers. Uh, over 100, you're going to start seeing the tips deteriorate. You're going to have to grind off, and uh, so around 100 amps for this. For the 330 seconds here, limits are around 250, 250 amps, and then you're going to start seeing deterioration. And for the one eighth electrode, uh, limits are about 400 amps, just again ballpark numbers, so 100, 250, 400. These are the three most basic diameters you're going to come across. There is a 0 .040, uh, 0 0.5 millimeters. They're very, very small, tiny. Uh, the application is mm, about 270 amps. You're pushing it at 80 amps, but they'll go that high. Um, so here's a 1 16th. Um, Tungsten, uh, 1.6 millimeters. Here's a uh, 330 seconds at 2.4, and here's a 1 8 at 3.2 millimeters. And the and the length of these is uh, 175 millimeters, or about about seven inches. I can't tell you what tungsten to use, what diameter is going to be right for you. You have to experiment and. Uh, figure out what is going to work for your purposes. But don't be afraid to experiment. Uh, get some scrap metal, use different diameters, and see what their limits are. My uh, estimates here are strictly that. They're just uh, some ballpark uh, estimates of, of what these are capable of doing. This has just been a brief discussion about uh, diameters and what their uses are and so on. If you can weld everything you need to weld with a 16th, then, you know, fine, weld it with a 16th. But when you get into heavier materials, you're going to need to, when you surpass the limits of these electrodes, you're going to wear them out unless you go to a larger size. And conversely, on the other side, uh, the smaller materials that you weld go down in electrode size and you'll, you'll have smaller arc patterns, which will help in your welding. Uh, I hope this discussion helps. Uh, as always, thanks for watching at Longevity's Learning Lab.